because I think the first one I bought was kids makeup and I was like, oh my God, it's so pigmented, but little did I know it's fucking Claire's. Ugh, asbestos teas. Attention. If you or a loved one was diagnosed with mesothelioma. Okay, so in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys a tour of my kind of eyeshadow collection. Now, I own a lot of eyeshadow. It's a pretty big collection, but just know that probably 90% of it I got on super, super clearance or liquidation. Like, I pretty much own every single palette that Shop Push sells. Look at these lovely big tits. Before I start with the collection though, I just need to tell you guys something really quick about Shop Hush. So Shop Hush either died or is kind of meditating. They literally had 60% off their whole website and they made this weird post of a palm tree saying like, oh, the website's gonna be available through this time, through this time. And like, they kind of said like, oh, thanks for sticking with us or something like that. And it was giving me kind of like, Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good vibes. I don't feel so good. So that makes me think Shop Hush died, but when you go on the website, it says it's, it'll be back later, so I don't know. That being said, the eyeshadow palettes I got on Shop Hush, you can still get them at other places, and I'll let you know where you can get certain palettes. But yeah, enough talk about makeup extinction. Two trillion metric tons of tea is headed straight for them, and impact is less than 20 minutes away. <laughs> and let's dive right in. So the first eyeshadow palette I'm going to tell you guys about is actually the first ever eyeshadow palette I bought on Shop Hush. No! I'm wearing it on my eyes right now, but these two are dupes for the Lime Crime Venus one and... <laughs> Excuse me. Um, these two... Okay. So these two are dupes for the Lime Crime Venus 1 and Venus 2 palettes. These are how the two palettes look. Unfortunately, I don't have the real Lime Crime Venus palettes to compare these two, but the formula of these is honestly really good. First, I'll show you swatches for the Venus 1. This is the one I'm wearing on my eyes right now. This is marketed under the name of the Ocalon Fire palette. I really like the formula of this because there's not a lot of fallout. As you can tell from the swatches and on my eyes, they work very, very well. Except these two shades, the mattes are really good. It's just the shimmers. These guys are more of like a frosty kind of eyeshadow, whatever. I'm wearing a liquid glitter over um, this, um, Dyslexia. Uh, what's it called? This bone color shade? Because I look like a fucking drag queen when I don't wear liquid glitter. Holy Jesus. What is that? What the fuck is that? But the original Lime Crime Venus palette is kind of old. I think it's from 2016. And if you were into makeup back in 2016, you remember that back then the naked palettes were like the biggest thing. And if you swatch those nowadays, they're kind of really ass. ass. <laughs> But yeah, if you end up getting this palette and you swatch these two and you're like, what the fuck, this is trash, that's how they're kind of supposed to be. Ooh. Anyways, I'm gonna show you her sister. This is the um, Ocalon Earth palette. This is a dupe for the Lime Crime Venus 2. I'll show you swatches right now. Now, pretty much all of the shades in here are really, really good, except for the blue because the blue is kind of trash. Trash. Ooh. But the shimmers in here don't have the same problem as the other two I said like 10 seconds ago. If you were interested in picking these two guys up, you can find them on Amazon. I'll put up a screenshot yeah. of how they look on Amazon. You can find both of these guys bundled together for only $14.99. That's literally $7.50 for each palette. Literally the only problem I have with both of them is how the packaging is literally identical. Ah! So I had to put like a sticker in the corner just to tell them apart. Like there's nothing on the back that says Ocalon Earth and fucking Fire Palette. It literally just says five color matte eyeshadow, shine easy glam product secret. Okay. Whatever the fuck that means. Why well, I understand, I speak English, you do. Anyways, moving on, I actually wanna show you the first ever eyeshadow palette I bought. Cause I think the first one I bought was kids makeup and I was like, oh my God, it's so pigmented. But little did I know it's fucking Claire's. Ugh, asbestos teas. Attention. If you or a loved one was diagnosed with mesothelioma, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Mesothelioma is a rare cancer linked to asbestos exposure. Anyways, this was the first ever eyeshadow palette I bought that I think counts as real makeup. So this is the Anastasia Modern Renaissance. If you don't know what this is by now, you must be living under a rock. Um, I didn't swatch this one just because this one is so common. You can literally find swatches everywhere. The shade names and like the aesthetic 
it's so cool and i'm gonna come back to that later because i like really appreciate like the artistic direction and just everything that goes into like making makeup while we're on the note of that color story i also have this if you don't know what this is go to my channel and watch my copycat beauty review we don't talk about him anymore we don't talk about him anymore okay so since i'm kind of going in chronological order i'm gonna be telling you guys about the kind of second obsession i had and that was bh cosmetics really cheap and affordable but they kind of like have a lot of unique products someone in my comments was really asking me to do like bh and whatever so yeah if you're watching this video this is for you Aww. the first thing i'm going to show you is this bh cosmetics take me back to brazil palette if you don't know what this is have a little faith in me yes all i need yeah. if you don't know what this is now you do if you're kind of a mua who's like just starting out or you like love color but you can't afford the james charles palette just get this this normally retails for around 17 dollars, but literally bh has sales like almost every 10 hours so you can probably cop this for maybe like 14 to 12 dollars if you're lucky this palette is a little tricky i'll show you swatches i couldn't swatch every single color because this is honestly like the biggest eyeshadow palette i kind of have the formula of this palette in particular is very very dry and powdery but that doesn't mean it's not pigmented some of these are very very nice where other ones are you know lacking in the pigment department from my experience with the palette the pinks are really good like this pink is amazing i swatched it the purples are good too the blues are good too this kind of parrot green is good too and the ones that are honestly kind of bad and like to the point where they're unusable is this orange this red and like kind of just things in this little general area and since i'm a makeup hoarder uh, i actually have the original version because this is the um kind of revamped reformulated version this is the original take me back to brazil palette wow! this is like almost three years old i got this in my sophomore year of high school i still have it yes i still have it Ugh, that stench formula wise like on the eyes i couldn't notice a difference but there is a difference for the black for the black light look I did on my Instagram, I had to use this one because for some reason these ones glow under black light, but these ones don't. The next product I have from BH is this BH Cosmetics Foil Eyes Palette. It's really big. I will show you swatches right now. There's one little duochrome in the Hi corner sisters. right here. Hi. I use this palette occasionally, but trash. Now the next two products I'm going to tell you about from BH are actually highlighter palettes, but I use them as eyeshadow because they're duochrome highlighters. This is the BH Blacklight palette. So this is all kind of just duochrome highlighters, but BH was kind of the first uh, affordable duochrome highlighter palette. I don't have swatches for it, but I'll just swatch a few for you right now. This is the shade Illusion. This is the shade Queen. There we go, perfection. This is really good, um, but BH has a kind of new version of it that's not the same, but it's better in my opinion. And it's called the Dual Light Highlighter Palette. Honestly, this is one of my favorite highlighters I own. What's this weird powder shit on it? <gasps> There's a bunch of white powder all over my desk and it's not cocaine. I thought it broke, but it didn't. I just picked it up at Riley Rose at the mall because I thought it was cute. And I'm so happy I did because these are all so gorgeous. These three top ones are supposed to be more subtle, but... They're, they're highlighters, they're really good. Whereas these bottom ones are supposed to be like super like shiny, like mirror on your face, mirror on the ceiling. Ooh. This has a mixture of like wearable colors with like super crazy duochrome colors. I don't have swatches of this one again because this is a highlighter. And what kind of modern day makeup guru would I be if I didn't own a Jeffree Star eyeshadow palette? So this is the Jeffree Star Androgyny. I got this for Christmas two years ago. All I want for Christmas oh. is to get fucked. This is how it looks. I'll put up swatches right now of it. Wow. So let's just address the elephant in the room and that's the company that disappeared off the face of the earth. That company is called Face Candy. Their Instagram, they haven't posted in almost a year. Their support email doesn't work. Their Shopify website is expired. But the next four palettes I'm gonna show you, just know that you can't get them anymore. That being said, I'm not gonna really ever wear these anymore. I'm just gonna kind of keep them in my collection and cryogenic storage like Walt Disney's head or something like that. Oh. <laughs> 
Okay. The first palette I'm gonna show you is called the Sugar Palette. Diabetes. Now, this is like an aluminum palette, so you know what that means. It's duping Too Faced, oh and it is duping the Too Faced Peach Palette. Not the new one, the old one. Sorry to disappoint you, but... It doesn't smell like peaches. Stanky and fishy, stanky and fishy. It just smells like makeup. I will show you swatches of it right now. These colors don't really appeal to me. I kind of just bought it when Shop Hush was having that 60% off sale because I was like, you know what? It's literally $2 and you they're going extinct. So I'm like, I might as well just get it. The next two palettes I'm going to tell you about go together. These are the, hold on, let me grab them. These are the Sahara palette and the Amazonia palette. Now I said these two go together because these are dupes for the Kylie Cosmetics Nice palette and Naughty palette she released for Christmas in 2017. I'm gonna tell you about the Sahara palette first. I've had it ever since March of last year, so, and it's March right now, so. No, it's April. You can tell it's been very well loved in that one shade. But yeah, I'll show you swatches of how they look right now. Um, if you are interested in this, you know, you just buy the real Kylie Nice palette. The next face candy palette I'm gonna show you is the Amazonia palette. I will show you swatches right now. I got this on that clearance sale Shop Hush was having, so I literally paid $3 for it. And each palette just has a really cute, like, overall aesthetic. This one is themed like desert biome, whereas, like, this one, the Amazonia, is themed like jungle biome. And the last face candy palette I'm gonna show you is a little interesting this is the face candy atlantis palette do you guys remember when tarte teased the icy uh. beach palette the one they actually Ooh. came out with last year it was an april fool's joke and they realized they fucked up because everyone wanted it so they made the real one so this is basically a dupe of a palette that doesn't exist i guess my life meant nothing i guess it was a sham i guess i'm someone else now i wonder who I am Banana. I will show you swatches of it right now. It's just a really pretty kind of blue palette and if I were to eliminate the like green shades, this would kind of give me Jeffree Star Blue Blood vibes a little bit. This one's theme is like ocean. Now, if you really just fucking wanted these so bad, you can check Poshmark or eBay where someone's selling it like secondhand. Or, you know, you could just buy the product these are duping, like the real version. I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh, and really quick, I found this Too Faced palette. I forgot I had this. So my friend Lauren, the one with the haunted cabin, um, she was literally like gonna throw this away. So I was like, girl give it to me. But I don't have swatches for this because like I forgot it existed and it's honestly kind of ugly. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is really cute. It's the eyeshadow palette I got from the dollar store when I did my makeup there. Do you remember me? In Monaco. Yeah, this is how it looks. I'm gonna show you swatches right now. It's really cute. It's not duping anything. Um, I just got it because it was cute. Now comes the big part. I'm gonna show you guys my entire collection of Bad Habit makeup palettes. Now, Bad Habit is a brand that does a lot of dupes. They were really big on Shop Hush, but they sell at a lot of other retailers and they have their own kind of website. Currently, their website is up, but it has this weird message saying, we'll be back soon, we're like making new products. You can still find select products from them at Urban Outfitters, um, Dolls Kill, and Riley Rose. The first eyeshadow I'm gonna show you by Bad Habit is the Athena palette. This is one of my favorite palettes I own. Like literally, I love it so much. This is a dupe for the Huda Beauty um, Desert Dusk palette. Now I don't support Huda, but I'll admit the Desert Dusk is so gorgeous. But yeah, I don't have to buy it now because I have this. But this is my favorite eyeshadow palette because it has four duochromes in it. Like, I'd be happy if there was only one, but does it have four? Wow! And the next palette I'm gonna show you goes hand in hand with the Athena. This is the Aphrodite palette. Aphrodite this is a dupe for the Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette, the first rose gold version, not the remastered one, even though I'm pretty sure there's no fucking difference. Yeah, this is how it looks. Um, I don't really ever use it because I love the Athena so much, but um, I will show you swatches of it right now. Um, the colors are definitely very safe and wearable for every day, so it's like for those who are very faint-hearted, who don't fuck with the duochromes like us queens do. You can currently find these two Greek goddess themed palettes on Riley Rose, as well as Urban Outfitters, but they only have the the Aphrodite palette. You know what though, if they made a Hera palette, you could have the Judgment of Paris right here. For those of you that don't know what the Judgment of Paris is, it's basically three goddesses having a bitch fight over who's the prettiest. And I'm not kidding, it literally started the Trojan War. Ooh. Going off of that kind of cute little mythology history note, I have a fetish. 
number one makeup has like really just like not sophisticated but they have like shade names and like makeup themes and like just cool aesthetics where it makes you like actually like think i low-key don't like when shade names are like swipe right heart eyes or something dumb like that it's like where's the flavor like oh my god going off of that i'm gonna tell you about this palette this is the artistry 2 palette by bad habit it's so freaking cute this is a do for the KKW, KKW Mario palette, the first palette she came out with when she did her brand. The theme of this palette is very like art history, like artistry, not like the James Charles artistry, but like, like Renaissance artistry. The colors, you know, just for my taste, the colors are kind of basic, but you know what though? The shade names and the fucking packaging. This is like my favorite palette execution of like everything I own. Like I said earlier with this guy, I have a fetish for when things are like named after like art history terms. Like this brown shimmer shade is called Tempest, which is a very famous painting by Giorgione. It's kind of really pretty bone colored shimmer up in the corner is called Chiaro, and that's actually short for the word Chiaroscuro. But my favorite one in this whole palette is the transition shade right here. It's called Pieta. Now, if you don't know what a Pieta is, you're not alone. The Pieta or a Pieta is a scene in which the Virgin Mary depicts over Jesus' death after the crucifixion. So just to help get my point across, this is a miniature recreation of a very famous Michelangelo statue of the Pieta. Don't ask me where I got this because I honestly don't know. Like if I were to describe my room decor, it would be paperweights. These two just share a really similar aesthetic, but I feel like this one does it better. The Modern Renaissance is really cute. Like it has some nice names in here like Bon Fresco, which is um, painting on wet plaster. Vermeer, which is a very famous artist. He painted the girl with the pearl earring. Primavera, which is a very famous- Hold on. In the last video where I used the shade Primavera, y'all were very keen to point out Primavera means spring in Italian. No, that's Italian, SpongeBob. I know it means Italian in spring. Please call for help. I know it means spring in Italian but it's also the name of one of the most famous paintings created during the Italian Renaissance. It was created by a guy named Botticelli, and he's the same guy that painted The Birth of Venus. Venus. And if you don't know what that is, you, my friend, are uncultured. Trash. The next palettes I wanna tell you about are all kind of linked to, there's three of them, but they had more, but I didn't get them. These are by Bad Habit as well, and I believe you can get them on Doll's Kill. This is their um, after collection. Now these are all dupes for the Huda Obsessions kind of collection, the little ones. Now, firstly, I'm gonna show you the Bad Habit After Dark palette. This is a dupe for the Huda Beauty um, Warm Brown Obsessions. I will show you swatches of it right now. But yeah, this palette's really pretty, very versatile, and it's very tiny too. It fits in the palm of my hand. So, you know, if you, you could just stick this in your purse and, you know, do your makeup in a public restroom. Actually, don't do that. The next one I'm gonna show you is this Afterglow palette. This is a dupe for the Huda Beauty Coral Obsessions palette. Now we say coral, as in that nose job is so coral. This one just isn't deep enough for me. I will show you swatches of them right now. And the last palette I own from Bad Habits After Collection is the After Hours palette. This is a dupe for the Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions palette. Now this one is honestly really pretty. I'm kind of a sucker for mauves. I honestly have a really huge dick. <laughs> honestly have a really huge dick shaped hole in my heart that only mauve eyeshadows can fill. I really just fucking love these colors so much. The next palette I'm gonna show you is the Retro Love palette. This is a dupe for the Anastasia Subculture palette. I kind of just bought this for my collection because I don't really use colors like this. The only time I've really ever used this palette was when I was doing um, SFX makeup for like a movie set thing. This one character had to have a huge bruise around his eye. <laughs> and I use these colors to do it. And the next Bad Habit palette I wanna show you is the Aura palette. This is a dupe for the Anastasia Prism palette, but my friend Sean, who was in the mukbang video I did, um, that isn't on my channel anymore, um, we're still friends. So stop spreading rumors that we're not friends because we're still besties, I just had to take the video down. He kind of swatched this when I got it in the mail. He was shook, he was like, these feel exactly like my Prism palette. These are really good. I will show you swatches of it right now. My favorite shades out of all of them are Ecstasy, Phenomenon, like just the really pretty duochromes. This is the Bad Habit Dream State palette. This is actually a dupe for the Fenty Galaxy palette that got released like two years, one year ago. Now this is cute and it's usable. It's usable. It's not completely disgusting. It's just not as much there. I can say the formula is noticeably different and it's honestly not the same thing. In fact, some of the shades in here are kind of ugly. Pretty much the only one that's ugly is this purple one here. It's kind of just gross. Now the next three palettes I'm gonna show you are honestly fucking amazing. <laughs> 
these are all dupes for the Pat McGrath Mothership palettes. You know, the ones that are $130. <laughs> It's kind of crazy. The first one I'm gonna show you is this Cult Mania palette. Now, all of the kind of dupes for their Pat McGrath stuff is like the Cult collection. So this is the Cult Mania palette. This is a this is a dupe for the Pat McGrath Bronze Obsessions palette. I will show you swatches of it right now. Girl, let me tell you, Hysteria and Frenzy, these two right here. Gah. Literally, I've never tried anything more beautiful. Just look at that. That literally looks like it's wet. It's honestly so amazing. Amazing! Just look at that. And this palette is kind of themed after mental illness. Mental illness. That kind of sounds really fucked up, but like, it, it isn't. Ooh. So the next palette I'm gonna show you is the Cult Mythos palette. This is a dupe for the Pat McGrath Mothership 2. I'll swatch it for you right now, like on camera so you can see. Do you guys just see, look at that green. Hey! How's it going? Like, you don't even need to use setting spray with this. It just looks like this all the time. But yeah, it's honestly incredible. If you're a glitter-loving person like me, hey, glitter critters. I would definitely recommend you get the Colt palettes by Bad Habit. And these palettes are really heavy, too. Like, they're good quality. Like, if I whack a bitch over the head with this, she's out. They have a total of five Colt palettes, but I only own three. So the last one I'm going to show you is the Colt Mystere palette. This is a dupe for the Pat McGrath Mothership 3. I'll show you swatches right now. This one is really, really gorgeous. Now, I just want to show you two of these on my skin. Oh, just look at that. It's like golden butter. Butter is gold. Well, I love butter, y'all. <laughs> Isn't that so beautiful? I love these palettes so much. I honestly really just love the aesthetic and the shade names in here, too. It's themed after, like... Why? Oh, it's plain... Tomb Raider. This one is themed after like Japanese culture. But yeah, that's all the eyeshadow I own. I don't have the exact value of it in my head. I'm pretty sure it's like above $500, but I don't know. I'm gonna put the amount right here because I'm dumb and I didn't prepare enough for this video. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you buy the Bad Habit ones instead of Huda. They also have Kat Von D dupes, but they're for like her ugliest palettes. But you know what? If you're into like the weird color stories, get it girl. Who am I to tell you what to do? I'm just some fairy on the internet. Anyways, I will see you all very soon. And as usual, thank you so much for watching. Bye.